Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be using our Ninja Creamy Deluxe to make high protein sugarless Rocky Road ice cream and it's going to be awesome. We're not going to be using almonds in this recipe, we're going to be using walnuts just like they did when this ice cream was first created back during the Great Depression in 1929. So you ready? Let's get into this. For this recipe, we're gonna need our Kroger Carb Master Milk, some diametized hydrolyzed chocolate whey protein, some walnuts, egg yolks, some sugar-free marshmallows, a little bit of monk fruit sweetener, and some enlightened no-carb waffle cones. If you'd like to make this recipe, all the ingredients and measurements are down in the description of the video, along with the calorie count, the protein, the carbs, and the fat. The first thing we need to do is prep our ingredients. So we're gonna take our egg yolks, throw them into a medium-sized mixing bowl, and we're gonna whisk these up until we get them nice and smooth. You'll be able to tell they're ready because the color is gonna start turning a little bit lighter yellow. This is gonna work best if you let your egg yolks get down to about room temperature. Once they start to thicken up a little bit and you got them looking about like this, we'll be ready for our next step. So we're gonna throw in our monk fruit sweetener, and we're gonna whisk this for about 30 seconds or so, just to make sure this is properly combined. Next, we can pour in our milk and whisk that in there as well. Next, we'll set our burner to about a medium to a medium high, and we can go ahead and pour in our mix. Once this warms up a little bit, we're gonna add in our chocolate whey protein. Be sure to keep stirring this and not really letting it sit all by itself for too long because you don't wanna run the risk of burning any of your ingredients here. If you happen to have a digital thermometer, this is gonna come in really handy for this part. Once this reaches a little bit over 110 degrees or so, we'll be ready to mix in our whey protein. Be sure to just pour this in a little bit at a time. That way it'll combine a little bit easier and you won't clump as much. If you still end up with a little bit of clumping in here, don't worry too much about it because that'll all be taken care of when you process it in the Ninja Creamy. Once your mix is over 170 degrees, we can take this off the heat. Next, we're gonna pour this into our creamy pine, being sure to not fill this past the scoopable max fill line right there. If you do that, you're gonna be in for a bad day when you process this thing. So let's pour this in. And we'll stop right there. Next, we'll throw on the lid. And we're gonna throw this into the freezer and let it harden for at least 24 hours. 2,000 years later. Once it's been about a day, we can pull this out of the freezer. And you'll be able to tell this is ready by just looking at the color. It should all be pretty uniform and it should be kind of a lighter shade of color than what it was when you put it in. See underneath, you can see it's a little bit darker. That was the original color. If it looks like it's ready to go, then we are ready to process. So we'll pop off the lid, put the pint into the pitcher, throw on the lid, and lock it into place. Then we'll turn on our creamy, install the pitcher, and lock it into place. And then we're gonna pick how much of our ice cream we wanna process. We're feeling pretty good today, so we're gonna do the full container. Now we're gonna set this dial to light ice cream. And the reason we would use that setting over the regular ice cream is because we are using a lower fat recipe and we're not using actual sugar. Once you have your setting set, we'll be ready to process, so you go ahead and start it up. Once that finishes, we can check our result. Ooh, and that's looking really good. Now, all we need are our mix-ins. So we're gonna throw in our walnuts and our marshmallows. Then we can throw the lid back on, put this back in the machine, select full again, and this time we're just gonna hit the mix-in button. All right, let's check our mix-ins. Ooh, that looks really good. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. I can't wait for you to try out this recipe because I think you're really gonna love it. One of the best parts is that it's really high in protein and really helps you get your allotment for the day and everybody knows that that's not always the easiest thing to do. 
If you'd like a little bit more information about the Ninja Creamy Deluxe that we use for this video, we do have an Amazon affiliate link for it down in the description of the video. If you purchase anything through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't change the price that you pay one cent. If you like this video, I'll bet you'll like this video up here about how to make sugar-free, high-protein Snickers ice cream. That's actually one of my favorites. Thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you again. And until then, I hope you have